Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and it's time to go through the rankings for the WTA and the ATP. The top 10 has had some big changes this week with Indian Wells just finishing up. Some big changes, both players getting into the top 10 and falling out of the top 10, and the race to the ATP Finals. It's coming up very, very soon, only a month away for both the WTA and ATP Finals. Let's start with the players that won last week because we had two big tournaments, men and women's Indian Wells. Let's go check out the results. So starting with the women's tournament for Indian Wells, we had Badosa defeating Azarenka in the final, 7-6, 2-6, 7-6, which was a great result for her, biggest trophy of her life, and she got rewarded in the rankings. And on the men's side, we had Cam Nori defeating Vasilashvili in the final in a close three-setter, 3-6, three, 6-4, six, 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 to win the biggest trophy of his life, and he has also been rewarded in the rankings, and both Badosa and Nori might actually make the ATP finals if they continue this form. Let's start with the WTA rankings this week because some big changes have happened, not just because of Indian Wells, but also because the French Open points from last year have dropped off, so some players have dropped down the ranks. Barty stays at number one, Sabalenka stays at two, Pliskova at three, but Igas Fiontek, after hitting a career-high four in the world, she has gone down seven spots to number 11 after losing all the points from the French Open last year, so she got hit bad by that, meaning that Krejcikova, Muguruza, and Svetolina all go up one spot, and Sofia Kennan, losing all the points from the final of the French Open last year, she drops down five spots out of the top 10, meaning that Sakari goes up a couple of spots to number seven, Jabor goes to eight after having a great week at Indian Wells, she's in the top 10 for the first time. Bencic goes up to nine, and Naomi Osaka gets back in the top 10, rounding out the top 10 for this week, but a lot of changes. Having a look at the WTA finals now, and things are starting to shape up, with Barty staying at number one, Sabalenka at two, Krejcikova at three, Pliska at four. They've all qualified, but Igas Fiontech, she's gone up two spots, thanks to having a good week in Indian Wells last week, pushing down Sakari and Muguruza. Those three players have a really good chance of making the WTA finals if they perform well in the next couple of weeks. And Naomi Osaka, she's gone down two spots to number 10 after not playing for a long, long time, making way for Paula Badosa, who has gone up 11 spots. She is number eight in the race to the finals now. So after a win at Indian Wells, she's almost qualified for the finals. Jabor stays at nine, and Elise Mertens drops out of the top 10, four spots lower than last week. Having a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings this week, and as the finalists from Indian Wells, Badosa, she's gone up 14 spots to a career high ranking, number 13 in the world. And Victoria Azarenka, she's gone up six spots to number 26 in the world after making the final of Indian Wells. Players that have gone down in the rankings, two players that played well at the French Open this time last year, Podoroska, she's dropped down 46 spots to number 82 in the world, and Trevison, she's also gone down 46 spots to number 112. Both players made the quarterfinals and semifinals of the French Open last year, and they lost all those points dropped down really bad in the rankings. Going over to the ATP rankings this week, and not too many changes to speak of, with Djokovic staying at number one, Medvedev still at two, Tsitsipas at three, Zverev at four, but Rafa Nadal, after not playing for a long time, he goes up in the rankings, up to number five, pushing Rublev down to number six, so a little bit of a change in the middle there. Berrettini stays at seven, Dominic Team stays at number eight. For now, his ranking is gonna get really, really bad in the next couple of weeks. But Roger Federer, he is out of the top 10 for the first time in a long time. He's gone down two spots after losing all the points from Indian Wells a couple of years ago. He drops out of the top 10 from number 9 down to number 11, making way for Kasper Ruud, who goes up to number 9, which is a career high for him. And Hubi Hercatch, he goes up two spots to number 10 in the world. That is a career high ranking for him. So we're seeing some of the old guards drop out of the top 10, and the new young players are starting to fill in those spots. So Hubi Hercatch, Kasper Ruud, both at career high rankings. Having a look at the ATP Finals race now, the race to Turin, we've got Djokovic still at number one, Medvedev at number two, Tsitsipas at three, Zverev at four, Rublev is at number five, and he has qualified for the ATP Finals. So we have five spots that have already been locked in with Rublev being the fifth player to go in. Berrettini's at six, but he is only a couple of wins away from making the ATP Finals as well. Rud, he stays at seven. Her catch at eight. We have a new number nine with Cam Norrie, the Indian Wells champion. He's gone up four spots into that number nine spot, pushing down Sinner to number 10. And Felix Ogiali Asim, he gets pushed out of the top 10 altogether. Having a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings this week, and it's the two finalists from Indian Wells. Cam Norrie, he's gone up 10 spots to a career high ranking number 16 in the world. And he's officially the top British player in the world right now. And Basilashvili, he's gone up nine spots to number 27 in the world. 
after having a great run at Indian Wells this week. Players that have dropped down in the rankings, Milos Raonic. Haven't seen him for a while. He's dropped down 14 spots to number 46. And Stan Vavrinka still hasn't played for a long time. We're still waiting for him to come back from injury. He drops down 11 spots to number 57 in the world. So Raonic and Vavrinka, a couple of the veterans, have dropped down in the rankings this week. So there it is. The ATP WTA rankings for this week. Massive changes for both the men and the women's competition. And the ATP finals and WTA finals are starting to take shape. Not too many events left for both men and women's tournaments. It's going to be interesting to see how they go and what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. Every match is crucial for those places at the very bottom there, the eight, seven, six places that are left in those two ATP WTA finals draws. Let me know down in the comments below, who's going to qualify for the finals? We've already got five players qualified for the men with Berrettini about to make it the sixth. So two spots up for grabs. Who's going to take those spots? And on the women's side, we have four spots already taken with four spots up for grabs. Who's going to qualify for the end of the year finals? It's going to be a heated little contest over the next couple of weeks. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to make the finals? So after one of the biggest tournaments on the calendar and some random champions, the rankings have changed dramatically this week.